Welcome Spartans to day 11. Let's get started. Look at your quick writes, discuss grades, do a few activities, and then you can jump into courseware and keep rolling with the course. Um, yesterday's progress, we've got to hide some of our students that are missing. I'll do that today. Um, you should have been finishing with 37%. Now, there is a slight discrepancy here. I want you guys to, to know that. Here, let's see if I can pull this up. When I go to Edgenuity and I check your pacing, your pacing that's advertised on Edgenuity is much faster than what I've been telling you to do because I've been pacing it out as a series of 24 days but the Edgenuity course is actually expected to complete before the actual course itself, so that they have some buffer room. So if you keep up to date with your Edgenuity progress, uh, you're even further ahead. So um, our progress, we ended yesterday with 37, and we're getting another 4%, so we should end up at 41%. Okay, 34%. Hillary, you got to go. Yeah, you got to go faster. I'm not happy. I'm very behind. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. Uh, Edgar, you didn't even post what your progress was. You're missing those points. Those are easy points. Uh, Alvaro, you caught up. Nice. Remember to, to log out. Uh, Angelica, that's a great response. There's always room to do better, but your progress is good. Okay, good. Uh, being at 43% is good. Now remember, it's not just about the progress pacing, it's also how well are you doing in the course where if you're guessing throughout everything and you're getting 20% on the course where it's going to impact your grades. So make sure that you're going through it, but you also understand it and you uh, have all of your questions answered. If you have questions, you should be asking them. Um, need to go way faster yes that's good if you're at 11 percent you definitely need to go faster we're supposed to be 33 uh, I could feel like I could okay progress much more than where I'm at right now okay I think I'd be progressing faster good with my percent yeah Jose you got to get that six up okay uh, Julia you even posted a response but you're losing all these other points and the the days are locking now so for the people that are far behind, um, I have already submitted grades to MISIS. They've been passed back. So they're right now registered as the grades that are in your Schoology. So check your Schoology grade and your, your mark there is what went in to MISIS that's going on to your transcript. Now your E's and S's, I'll have to talk about that. But if you are very far behind, um, it might be beneficial to drop the course and then take take it next semester. For people that were maybe not prepared for this, didn't realize the pacing was that fast, that's totally fine, it's understandable, but you do need to communicate that with me so that we don't have this on your transcript. Uh, okay, good, good. If you didn't have to do things at home and work during the same time, you'd be able to work faster, get more work done. Okay, that's, that's good. That's true. There's other responsibilities. You guys have lots of responsibilities. That's why I'm not trying to overwhelm you with super long class videos. I'm trying to make the class uh, as flexible as it needs to be for you. Uh, good. Okay, this is great. Happy. I could be doing... Okay. Okay. I will go to 37 today. Good, Francisco. You're on top of it. Let's look at Chem B. Let's make the same changes from 37 to 41%. I am not happy because I know that I can do better. Okay, good. I could be going faster. Okay, you have two classes trying to catch up in both. I think taking two of these classes uh, is tough, but it's doable. You just have to be focused. It's still the same amount of class time. They're expecting that you're going to dedicate two and a half hours every day as opposed to the 50 minutes that are allocated during the normal school year per day. 
So you're getting a lot more time in this class, but because it's remote, it might not seem like you're doing as much. That's where I'm trying to keep you guys on track so you know you like this is what you are expected to, to do. Um, current progress. No, I've been getting slower. Yeah, it's true. You don't have the time to complete it. Well, hopefully you can because we got to jump start because you were you were rolling fast there. It's just I was I was expecting you to keep the pacing and I know you can. So hopefully you'll get back up there. Uh, 31. OK, good. Because <laughs> I procrastinate a lot. I know it's bad. OK, well, Denise, I understand you procrastinate. Sometimes you take a while to uh, to get your work done, maybe to pay off a loan. But I know you're good for it. I know you'll get it done. Uh, OK, but I do get bored. Yeah, but that's one of the beautiful things about this is that you can just roll those videos and you're passively uh, getting through the course. OK, what is your progress ratio? So I saw some people that were correct here. Progress ratio is just going to be this value divided by that value. So you said 97% but it didn't work. Let's try if you did uh, this. Let's try the actual formula. This equals this divided by that. Let's see if that works. And that did work. So that's just because it was super specific. It needed the actual values because you put in a value that wasn't exact. That's why you want to use the formulas. The equal formula really helps. 96%, uh, I'm assuming this one also would be fixed with the formula. This is this divided by that. Mm, and this is one of the ones where you had to be careful with the percentages. So let's do the percentage and then that fixes it. Okay. Uh, and the final one, I'll fix yours as well, Denise. Again, formulas, instead of using 0.39, equals this divided by times U5, and that gives you your value. Okay, so you guys got, got the idea there. If you have a ratio of 1 or above, that means that you're just on top of it. You're going, you're, you're rolling. What is your work completed? And these are just the calculations. I just wanted you guys to be able to calculate your grade. So it seems like some of you were able to do that. Uh, just for verification, um, do you know what your grade is? Do you know what your work habits and cooperation grade are. Okay, so we still have the work habits and cooperation. The work habits and cooperations are still E, S, and U. Uh, the way that I've done that is, and I'll, I'll just type this, if you have above in 80% on, so work habits, that's edgenuity. If it's 80, 80 plus, 80% plus, you get any. That's excellent. If you get above 50%, so I'm just making sure that you're getting the course done, you got an S. If it's below 50%, that's where things are a little bit dicey, that's a U. Um, on the flip side, I've done for the participation or cooperation, that's your quick write, and that's if you have an 80, pl actually, because we had uh, 40 points, it said that if you had a 75 plus, you get an E. If you had a 50 plus, and this is percentages, that's an S. And if you had less than 50%, that's a U. Now, your quick write, that's based off of your values two days ago when you had 40 points. So if you have 75 percent or above on 40 points, that means you had to have 30 points or more to get the E. Uh, but those are the values. Um, hopefully you understand what those are. So just give me confirmation that you understand what that grade is. Okay. Um, 
some of the other educators are using more tools and I'd like to incorporate some more of those tools. I know you guys are really busy with both the QuickWrite and Edgenuity, but some of the tech tools are important. So uh, I want to just use some Google Slides. So what I'm asking you to do is just go to Google Slides. If Actually, just go to Drive, drive.google.com. This opens up your drive and make a new slide. Now we're going to use this slide. I'm going to have you do some things, but first I need to make sure that everybody has access to this. So just name it yourself. Name it um, Summer Chemistry. Put your name Summer Chemistry uh, 2020. That's fine. And we're not going to work on this today, but we're going to work on it in the next few days. I just want you to share it. So go up here, click Share once you have your name on it. Now there's a new sharing protocol, so go to uh, copy link. It's restricted, only people added can open this link. No, we got to change it to anyone with the link, so you have to click that button. Change it to anyone with this link. Cool, it should automatically copy it, but you can copy it again. And then just put that in right there. Put your link in. So as long as it's a link, Make a Google slide presentation, title it, and share it. Link it here. We're going to work on that later. Um, let's keep going. I'm interested in some of your previous coursework. What was your f favorite memory of your previous chemistry class? Now, I know some of you guys, well, everybody's repeating chemistry because they failed it. So they might not have had a greatest experience with chemistry, but I'm sure you can dig up at least one favorite memory. Uh, I just want to discuss some of the topics involved in that, and maybe it can open up a discussion about something else, about some of the material. So what was your favorite memory of your previous chemistry class? It can be with uh, myself, it could have been with Tovar, it could have been with uh, Lindsay, or any other instructor. I just, what was your favorite class? What, maybe it was uh, a lab, hopefully it was a lab. Labs are usually the most fun, but uh, we can discuss that. Um, I'll, I'll see your answers on that one. And then finally, What was something you wanted to learn about in chemistry, but was never covered or explained well enough? So, today is a beautiful Wednesday. It's Wonder Wednesday. You gotta have some wonderment. What's going on? Why does this work? How does this work? I'm just asking you, are there any topics in science, particularly chemistry, that you are really hoping that would be explained? How does that explode? Why does that implode? Uh, why does that change color? Be, I mean, be specific about, about the phenomena. But I want to know, what is one thing that you were interested in and you just never got a, a resolution to? Never found out the answer. And hopefully we can cover that. Maybe that'll unlock the missing link and make you just click with chemistry. So anyways, get those quick writes done. Um, make sure your progress is rolling and I will see you guys tomorrow. Have a good one.